Jack Lewis for Guarantee RV in Junction City, Oregon. Today we're going to take a look at this exciting 2015 Newmar Dutch Star. This is a model 4018. We have a porcelain floor that goes all the way from the entryway through the living room, kitchen, center bathroom, through the bedroom, all the way to the back bath. So you'll notice coming in here for a 40 foot motorhome, this has a lot of room. So we have a full wall slide on the right. On the passenger side, this has gotten very popular, it's L-shaped sofa. So when you're going down the road, this actually folds up, tucks in, and you have a small sofa there. And the reason this has gotten so popular is on the opposite side, we now can have a large TV, a fireplace, which gives you some indirect light, more storage down below here. And then this is on a 12 volt lift. So when you're not watching TV, and you want to have the window, you know, you've got that. I like the Dutch Star, their placement of all the wall switches. There's lots of 110 outlets where you need them. Uh, the switches are on the wall, easy to access. This floor plan also has a pull-out recliner. So you could pull this out in the center, leave it there, turn it around the other way so at night, along with your front seats that turn around, you have like a conversation pit. Here's a restaurant style dinette. So this also has a leaf. So this pulls out and then you've got two folding chairs here so you've got plenty of seating for guests. The windows, you'll notice for 2015, we've upgraded to a flush window on the outside. It's kind of the look of like the Prevost had. The bit windows open from the bottom here so in, during the day, you could leave in the morning, leave one open for ventilation, and if it rains, you're not going to be getting water inside the motorhome. On this side, we have a residential style refrigerator. I really like these. These are insulated much better than an RV refrigerator. They take very little power to run. You can see on the energy guide, that's only 532 kilowatt hours. I've had people that full-time RV. I've had people that dry camp a lot and you do the numbers on this, there's no problem running this with the system you have with this coach. You've got extra batteries, you have a sine wave inverter, and you have a large diesel generator. Plus, the compressor isn't running all the time in this. It's, once it's up to temperature, it's very seldom running. This also gives you a large freezer down below. So this is getting to be a much requested item as far as an option. And then again, you get upgraded uh, inverter, converter, so you have sine wave power that's going to make your microwave run better, uh, maybe 15% more efficient. Also, uh, charging cell phones, laptop batteries, things like that. It's the same power you have coming out of the wall at home. There are lots of counter space, deep sink, stainless steel sink, getting to be very much requested. The uh, cooktop, we have a three burner cooktop, high output burners. Again, this is all Corian type uh, solid surface countertops. This is a pull out area to give you more uh, countertop space. The backsplash is all glass. You have a convection microwave, and that's a large, uh, I believe, a 30 inch uh, convection microwave by Whirlpool. Lots of drawer space down below. These are all on metal slides. All the drawers are finished on the inside. And they're on metal slides also. Very deep. And there's two drawers under here. Go the full length. Here's the half bath. So I find this very useful for people with this type door. They can actually access this going down the road. You've got a sink, you've got plenty of storage, you've got a porcelain commode, and then I'm gonna have you back up a little bit there. I'd like to open these doors. This is something that Newmar does. For anyone that's had a motorhome, this is access to your 12 volt and your 110 panel. So instead of having to crawl on your knees to get to it, to check something, it's very easy access like you'd have in your home. Going back into the bedroom area, we have a king size mattress. Um, we have indirect lighting on both sides of the bed, accent lights. 
We have windows that open on both sides of the slide out. We have a headboard. All the windows, of course, are dual pane. The insulation in this coach is going to be double what you're going to see in our competition. Newmar features a three inch thick wall where everybody else has a two inch thick wall. So the R rating is actually in our brochures, R11 in the floors, R11 in the walls, and the ceilings are going to be a minimum of R16. And they're quieter inside, they're cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. Opposite the bed, we have a high definition TV. You're going to have storage on both sides. So there's hanging storage here, and then we're going to have more hanging storage in the back rear bathroom also. So lots of hanging space there. And then we have six drawers down below. These are all on metal slides. They're all finished inside. Uh, I like to mention also, this is something Numar gives us. You know, a lot of people, they'll, they have a little dust or a stone or something on their uh, porcelain floors. They don't want to get them scratched. So they design these very easy. They slip right in. They're not going to go anywhere. You can uh, position them along here and you're not going to have any issues with uh, dust or stone marking your nice porcelain floors. Going into the rear bath, we have a privacy door. The lock is in the center, so it's easy to unlock and lock. Moving in to the coach, in the bathroom area here, we have a stacked washer dryer. It's all stainless steel inside here. The dryer up above, it's vented. We have storage wherever you can put storage in this area. We have a porcelain commode. There's room on both sides of the commode, unlike some motorhomes where they're, they're squeezed in. All solid surface countertops, glass backsplash, you know, nicely proportioned medicine cabinet. So these are deep, even have a 110 plug back here. Uh, on the right, we have a safe. There's the leaf for the table up front that we talked about. And then the shower, all, um, you know, very elegant, uh, clear glass. There's a seat inside there. Shower head is adjustable. Um, very, very elegant look throughout the motorhome. The cockpit area, you're going to find very uh, easy to use. Uh, all the controls are uh, in easy sight. You have a smart wheel that lights up so you can uh, turn on your headlights, you can turn on your cruise control, you can turn on your wiper blades, wash the windshield without even getting away from the steering wheel. It's all lit up at night. To the left you have the HWH computerized levelers. You have your six-speed Allison transmission. Um, power electric mirrors on the dash, and then the instruments. Freightliner has been owned by Mercedes-Benz for more than 30 years, and they're very readable during the day, and they're very readable at night. This has a tilt wheel, also will telescope. Uh, this coach has comfort drive, and that is a big deal on a diesel motorhome. Please call me on my cell. I can go over that with you or refer you to an, another video that deals with just that. Here we have a um, navigation system and backup camera. We also have side cameras. So if you're changing lanes, you're going to see the horizon at the back and you're going to see that motorhome out to the left of us. Very good safety feature. Up front, we have MCD shades for at night. A lot of privacy, a vinyl shade that pulls down. During the day, there's a sunscreen that you can use to reduce the heat. Up here, you're going to notice a surround sound receiver by Sony. I'd like to have one of those in my home. So this is uh, all HDMI inputs. You've got a Blu-ray player up above. We order them pre-wired for satellite up above so you're not having to cut into the roof. The first bay is where a lot of people will put a, like a Norcold refrigerator, freezer that runs on 110 or 12 volt. Also, uh, it gives you additional storage. Here we have a pull-out tray. This actually goes out either side. So you can load that up with heavy items. You can see the Dirt Devil central vacuum up above. Here's the tools for the central vacuum. Up on the left, we have the controls for the uh, power awning, and we even have a 110 plug here. This pegboard is very useful. <clears throat> you can uh, store tools, hoses, things like that. Most motorhomes don't use that space. Numar recesses at 10 inches and gives you storage where other motorhomes don't have any storage. 
We have side docking lights. You know, the tire size, I like to point it out, these are 305 70 22 fives. You know, compared with the competition, you're going to find that Numar pays a little more for their chassis and they order specific upgrades. Uh, Freightliner pointed this out to me that they actually upgrade the tire size. So that upgrades your carrying capacity. Here we have a DEF tank that carries the extra fluid that makes your exhaust burn clean. All the new trucks and motorhomes have that. You have two Group 31 batteries with a power shut off. So turn this off. You're not going to have any problem coming back if you leave the coach alone for a couple months and find the starting battery run down. This is a side radiator coach. So the engine is a 450 horse Cummins with an Allison six speed. This gives you easier access to the belts. A lot of people prefer this for different reasons. One of them is the belief that you have better cooling with a side radiator. Um, moving along the side, you'll see we have a 10,000 pound hitch on the bottom. We have an RV seven connector plug. This will be your side radiator. Numar even gives you a place to store an extra sewer hose for an extension. Side dock docking lights. The tag axle is very important on a 40 footer because it gives you more directional stability, more carrying capacity, more brakes. The wet bay, all the water going in there is filtered. The water reel is power, so it makes it easier to hook up. Your black and gray tanks are all up high, so you have a nice clean dump. Everything is lettered, so your low point drains, you have easy access to. You could winterize this coach in 15 minutes in the winter instead of paying a dealer uh, 50 to to $100 to do that for you. You have hot and cold water outside. You have a built-in black water tank rinse. Uh, all the upgrades that you need, even the water pump you can turn on from that area. This side will be the power reel. So that's a 50 amp cord going in. They can get pretty stiff in the winter. So it's nice to have it on a power reel. Here we have the Oasis hydronic heat. So that gives you unlimited hot water. Instead of a six or 10 gallon hot water heater, you have unlimited hot water. The next bay is the other side of that pull out tray. So that'll actually pull out all the way on this side also. And then here we have a pull out tray with six uh, batteries. So you've got a lot more capacity. So to the left of the batteries, we have a large propane tank. We have docking lights underneath, alloy wheels. This area, you have two exhaust pipes, so they're moving the hydronic heat exhaust from uh, the diesel-fired furnace up here, also the uh, generator. And there's a lock on the generator. You pull this, and that'll open up the diesel uh, generator that's in the front of the coach. Side cameras, heated remote mirrors, full body paint, a mask on the front, um, clear mask so it protects against rock chips makes bugs easier to clean off. My name is Jack Lewis. Please call and ask for me. Dial the number on the screen or dial my cell phone at 541-941-4856. I'll be glad to get any more information you might need on this coach or any other product in our inventory. Thank you.